Well, hi Chapel Hill Sunday Schoolers and Preschoolers. It's Miss Kim and I'm here at the city park today. We're gonna have a really neat lesson about not storing up our treasures. So our Bible animal is the moth. We're gonna meet Marshall and Isaac and their pet bulldog, Luna. So I can't wait, this is gonna be a good one. Let's go. And here's Luna getting walked by Marshall and Isaac. They're at the city park. Luna is a French bulldog and she loves being outside. She likes to lay in the sun, she likes to have her belly rubbed, and Luna likes to meet new people, especially if they have treats. Good job, Luna. Wow, now look at Luna run. She loves to run out in the grass and she does a few tricks. Nicely done, Luna. Does she do anything that's funny? She snores. <laughs> she snores. Marshall, does Luna do anything else besides snoring that is funny at your house? Like, after she goes to the bathroom, she runs around the whole house. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a story now about not storing up our treasures, about sharing our treasures. So let's sing a song about that called, I Will Share With You, It's the Bible's Way. All right, kids. I will share with you. I will share with you. That's the right thing to do. Sharing is the Bible's way to show the love of God each day. Share with you. I will share with you. Now it's time for our Bible story. If you can, sit down, maybe crisscross style. Here we go. Have you ever seen an insect that looks like this? It's a moth. You may have seen one at nighttime flying around your outdoor lights. Some types of moths don't stay outdoors. They get into people's houses and chew up sweaters, blankets, or other woolen items that are in storage. Oh no, look at the hole. Hmm. What do you see here? Well, those are a lot of storage bins. Many of us have too much stuff. Does this look like your closet? Or does this look like your garage? Whoa, that is a lot of extra stuff. Jesus said, don't save up treasures here on earth. Moths will eat your stuff or your stuff will rust, or thieves may break in and steal your stuff. Oh no, here come the moths. What should we do instead? Jesus said, save up your treasures in heaven. Moths and thieves will never get to them there. Plus, if you have so much stuff, that's all you can think about. It's better to think about things that matter to God, like being kind, loving others, and knowing Jesus. Those are real treasures. Hey, look at the picture here. What is this boy doing? Have you ever been here? It's the Goodwill store in Gig Harbor. Maybe you have brought some clothes or toys here to donate, or maybe you shopped here. I'm so glad that people decide to give away the things that they don't need. Here's what we really need. Hey, look at these happy kids. No moth is going to eat up heavenly treasures like love, joy, peace, patience, and kindness. 
All right, kids, it's so good to know that we have heavenly treasures. Let's act out the lesson now, follow me. If you can, you can stand up and do it with me, kids. The first thing that we're going to do is open up our closet. Open up the closet door. Whoa, we have so much stuff in there. So go ahead and take things out of the closet. All these extra things that we're not using. Now put them in a box. Ooh, let's go to Goodwill with our stuff. So bring the box up and let's take it to Goodwill. Wow, Jesus is going to be so proud of us for getting rid of the stuff that we don't need. Bye-bye extra stuff. We have, make a heart, we have our faith in Jesus and that is our best treasure. All right, let's pray kids now. Let's put our hands together and say, Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus. thank you that you give us so many things. Help us not store up our treasures. And we praise you today for the fun dog that Luna is. And we pray for this precious family, the Gordy family. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's all say amen together. A big amen. 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 Bye-bye, Marshall and Isaac and Luna. All right, kids. That was really fun to be here with you today learning. This is our moth coloring sheets. Remember, kids, don't store up those treasures. You need to give them away. We'll see you next week with another Bible animal.